Hi, today we're going to start with something very important that we all must do and the Lord asks of us to get our houses in order. Um, 2 Kings 21, in those days was Hezekiah sick unto death, and the prophet Isaiah, the son of Amus, came to him and said unto him, Thus saith the Lord, Set thy house in order, for thou shalt die and not live. Here the Lord himself is telling us to get our houses in order. What that means is we are in the end of the very, very last days. And what that means is to get our physical house in order in case anything should happen to us. We need to leave behind provisions for our loved ones in case anything happens to us. Um, because we're gonna we're get moving closer into seal three the red horse that's peace is going to be taken from the earth that's a seal two seal three is going to be famine war financial collapse scarcity of food water and medicine so God is asking us, he's been asking actually for the past three years to get our house in order. And that is to leave provisions for our loved ones in case we're not here. They will have something. They have provisions to take care of themselves and others along the way. Also, what this means is to get your house in order also means spiritually. More than anything, we have to be ready uh, for anything, anything. Um, spiritually, we have to get water baptized, receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit, and get our hearts circumcised. And that's what it means to get our houses in order in the spiritual sense, we must be ready. The wise virgins were told to make themselves ready. So this is what it means to get your house in order. It's got two meanings, spiritually and physically. Physically, you must have provisions because there's gonna be scarcity. There's gonna be scarcity of food, water, and medicine. So you must have some type of provision at home so that the Holy Spirit can multiply. And that's, that is going to happen. There will be miracles that are going to happen um, where the people that are the wise virgins and, and receive the whole infilling of the Holy Spirit will have greater powers than when Jesus walked the earth. And um, he will provide, but you must have provisions so that the Lord can multiply. He will multiply um, just the way he turned water into wine. All of those things are going to come to pass very quickly here now as we're moving into the third seal, into the third horse, which means scarcity, wars, financial collapse. So please, I am asking you in the physical, get your house in order, put some food aside, uh, put some medicine aside, whatever you think your family may need, your loved ones. Uh, also, what's going to happen here soon is the Lord is going to take a lot of his people. He's going to take us home. Uh, some of us may, 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 may still be here waiting for the transformation uh, but the Lord is going to take a lot of us home soon so that we will not um, go through what we must go through. Uh, so please, I ask you to get your house in order physically, 
and spiritually, but more than anything, more, more than anything, spiritually, get yourself ready, get baptized, receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit, and work, really work on getting your heart circumcised. And I'll talk to you later.